Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm good. Really chilling. I was like, I don't trust this, bro. I got got in it before. A nigga that sold me three pounds of weed for a thousand dollars, and I sent him that shit. What? Right? Come on now, dog. Don't even. I don't even know why I told you that story. I don't even know why. I told you that story. <laughs> nigga sold him three pounds of weed for a thousand dollars. I'm just exaggerating. I'm just exaggerating. It wasn't three. It was probably like. It don't matter. Two, two and, but whatever. Wait, you know, it's yeah. whatever. No, nah, you got I would it. never. You got you know, it. It's a life lesson, though. You live and you learn, you know? So that was a thousand dollar lesson, but. Donate Thank you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? Man, appreciate you. I like interview. Whenever niggas do this interviews, I be like, I know they was together for at least an hour, two hours before that. They shook hands six times. Yeah. Before this interview started. No, fuck with you, dog. Hell yeah, no, man. But no, real talk, man. So, don't ask Jen, right? That's a very interesting name. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sure the story behind it is just as interesting. What uh what's the story behind the name, man? It's just like uh my name used to be Genesis. Used to be? Yeah. So you, my you stage name used oh, to be. Oh, okay. Now. Yes sir. Yeah, and niggas used to like uh fuck my name up and I used to be mad because it's like, bro, like how you don't know how to say my name, you know what I'm saying? Like and then I changed it to Jen. People was like, bro, why you keep changing why you change your name? Like and I was like You changed it multiple times or you I just was, changed it? I just from changed it from Genesis to Jen, and okay. they was like, "Why you change your name?" Then they start asking me like, "When that album drop?" You know, like regular shit that you know what I'm saying fans or supporters say, and that was just like, "When that album drop?" And I was like, "Don't ask." And then they just kind of like went from just stop asking me questions, and I didn't like I'm not really cool with interviews and shit. You're not cool with interviews. Yeah, I just got like, oh, well, I appreciate you doing. I'm just interview. anxious. Yeah, like. I don't be knowing what to say around in at the right time and shit like that. So I just be like, uh, yeah, just don't ask questions, don't ask me nothing. And just like it just kind of stuck. Don't ask Jen. Okay. So yeah. would you say you have a certain? You say you have an anxiety, correct? Yeah, social anxiety. Social anxiety. That's what I, I like. Self, like uh, what is called diagnose. Self diagnose myself. You know. Okay. Because like when I'm out in public, like when I can't, I can't go to clubs. Like too many people be around. Or just talking to people that I don't know. Like, I don't look people in their eyes for more than five seconds at a time. Okay. And just stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all of that stuff make me, like, nervous. Like, kind of, like, kind of, like, nervous or angry or it make me feel something okay. that's not normal, you know? How does that affect you as far as networking within the industry? If you can't, if, if, it's, if it's difficult for you it's to It's a switch. It's a switch. Okay. And you got to be able to hit it. Like, I just learned about this switch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you just have to be able to, like, and a lot of times when you really, when you really get good, like, when you're talented, which I call myself, you yes, know sir. what I'm saying? So, like, when you're talented, you really don't have to do too much talking to people. Like, people just don't understand what kind of artist you are, especially after me telling them, like, bro, I'm not really comfortable with talking to everybody. So, like, as I tell them that, they, like, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a crutch. So, they, like, kind of deal with me differently. Like, they talk talk through me differently or talk to people that talk to me or, like, even if, like, they have, I have to get comfortable with people first. You know what I mean? Like, I can't just, like, walk into somewhere and be like... What's up, bro? Like, I know a lot of social butterflies and shit. In certain situations, do you use, you know, alcohol or anything like that to it's relax courage. you? It's courage. Like, I just stopped drinking. Well, I, well, I had stopped drinking like hard liquor. I was only like drinking wine and shit, and who drinking wine at the club? You know what I'm saying? So like, all going out. So like, um, I don't smoke. You don't? No, I don't smoke. I pop Adderalls every once in a while. Okay. Just to focus, not on that shit like you know, know what I'm shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um but like you know, like I don't really need nothing to like lean on to to like it's just I can't be there. You just I just can't be in play in a space with a bunch of people. Usually when I meet people it's like one on one, kinda like I miss you, first time I miss you, it's like okay. Just like it's just me and you and one other person there and then I have somebody there that's keeping me like comfortable. I always keep somebody around me that's like you be comfortable with my brother and my best friend. Okay. Ever since you saw me in a race, found a way to pop up in my space, on my line, in my face. She get excited when I tell her I'm a leave Say you gon' leave and she told you she don't need it. Cause a scene girl, you just never wanna see with her. Does 
is uh do you talk through your music since you can't talk yeah like that's why my whole my whole last project was about me talking to my music don't ask for love, don't ask for love. Yeah. that was a great project bro sure, i really loved it feel like you put a lot of yourself mm -hmm. on that album like we got to know who you were without the interview you can just listen to the album and find out who don't ask and that's is. the reason why i didn't want to do a bunch of interviews because i feel like i'm like i can't like i don't I can't talk to people, like I say, I can't talk to people, but my music, like a lot of things that I want to say come to my music and a lot of things, a lot of uh, perspectives on how I feel on the inside, because I'm not really about like making music about shit that's happening on the outside. Like, it's just like, I deal with way more shit on the inside than people on the outside deal with shit on the outside. So... When you talk about some on your album, it's some that you dealt with, correct? Is what yeah. you're saying? Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a song on your album, and I'm not going to lie, it's my favorite song on your album. It's mm -hmm. called Dirty Game. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I saw the video for that song, mm -hmm. and, you know, the the people, the females in the video was doing some foul, some mm -hmm. foul things. <laughs> so in that instance, looking at that video, is that something that you went through as far as getting got in the dirty game or did you were you the person you portrayed in the video as the person who was getting these people <laughs> that no nah, that's that video that video is based off uh like just me just being like creative like just okay. creatively just like coming up with something because i don't, i hate when people just shoot regular videos okay. and it's like you know what i'm saying this don't have nothing to do with the song this don't have nothing to do with nothing like why why is this going on the song's called dirty game you know what I'm saying? And it just like broke down like a bunch of different things. So, but actually, uh, uh, more so, that video is probably more so inspired by the song Money in the Bag on my project. Money in the Bag. Yeah. But it's not really, uh, we're going to be shooting another visual for that song. But like, okay. Um, that, that video is, is more so inspired from that song than it is there again. Okay. If you bustin' at a nigga, or you bustin' on the beach Option number two, then you better bring a friend Don't ask him for love Cause all I got is Polaroid pics and Never did so Last time that you told me that you missed up And this was Magento, I remember Sandy and the Addy had me so you you're from the city of Houston, correct? Yeah, Northside, Shorty. Northside. Northside, Shorty. What's, 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 what's your hood? <laughs> <laughs> what was your hood? Nah, I'm playing. What, what, what side of the city are you uh, from? I'm from Northside. I'm from Homestead. I'm from oh, Northwood, man. You're from the state. Northwood, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 7207, Hamilton, 7200 block. You know what I'm saying? All that. You feel me? Yeah, that's where I'm from. I understand that. Now, um, what is one of the things that Jen, Don't Ask Jen right now, would tell a young Don't Ask Jen that... How old is that Don't Ask Jen? Don't, that's the Don't Ask Jen that decided to take the music industry seriously. Oh, that Not was, just the guy writing... Oh, that wasn't long ago, so it was like... Like, like the music... Like taking music seriously and taking the music industry serious was two different, completely two different things for me. Okay. Like taking music. Explain that. So, but taking music serious was a seventeen year old. It was like, like in love with the way things sounded, trying to find new sonics, trying to find new like melodies and harmonies, and like trying to find my voice and falling in love with like uh, Shade Adu uh, and. Erica Badu and Lauren Hill and James Blake, like that was that was me f falling in love with music and taking music seriously. Okay. Finding the music industry was me a couple months ago. <laughs> that was me like that was me like six months ago saying oh, like, wow. so you just new to the music business? Yeah, the music business is ass. I fuck, I hate it. But okay. like, but you like, say you hate it. Yeah. yeah. When you the music industry is as I've heard that so many times, so many people hate the music industry, but so many people want to be in the music industry. Why do you say the music industry is as? It's because it like it's like a vulture to like people who don't understand it. It's like have you ever been in a room? Okay, 
When you go into a, a like, you have been interrogated by a cop? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes. So, like, when you get interrogated, uh, what they tell you is don't say nothing to your lawyer get there. Yes. The reason why they tell you that is because they don't, because uh, police officers and lawyers speak a different language than you and me speak. Okay. Same thing with lawyers. You don't supposed to talk to another lawyer unless your lawyer is present because two lawyers speak the same language. Okay. Doctors speak different languages than we speak. So like when you just in love with music and like you're walking into somewhere and it's a executive here and executive here and all they know is business. That's all they care about is the business part. And you sitting down, you talking having trying to have a conversation with them about a contract, they going to take advantage of you because in the contract they're speaking a different language than you understand. So it's like and they take advantage of it. Okay. In every aspect, whether you write in, producing record deal like but which i'm not it's not really like like it's what i expect them niggas to do on some low key shit it's like what you expect and when you go in to get a deal when whenever you're doing a deal with anybody about anything the point is to try to get as most you can out of that person without giving up as much as you can I that's mean, in every deal you know what yeah, i'm saying so i guess like, it's like i guess it's like what you expect but when it's somebody that you just like so they just don't know no better. It's like that's kind of it's just fucked up. So being able to verbalize that and say that that means you know that. So going into a situation and talking to that executive, you know they're coming with a different language, so you know how to now now. Oh okay. yeah, I know that now. <laughs> but, but you say that you say that um, young Jen. You say that eight months ago, ten months ago, twelve months ago. Then it's like oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I was I was creating a whole. I have created a whole brand around me, and like in ten months, no, I just been always created a brand around me. Like my own, got my own videographer, got my own photographer. I got my, I make my own graphics. I got my own set of producers that I fuck with like all the time. So you're yeah. independent. You're not signed to a label or nothing. No, like that. no. So it's like when you go into a label. Me twelve months ago didn't know that everything that I needed I already had, but they just had the machine that I needed to be able to connect everything that I need so I can get it to the masses. Okay. I didn't know that 12 months ago. Okay. And now you know it, it's like, now, what, like, why would you, why, what, what would y'all actually need? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would y'all need so much leverage? I mean, like, so much of a percentage when we doing all the work. I do, we do literally all the work to make my own music. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing, I'm paying for my own mixing and mastering from people that I really care about. I mean, like, who I really think can, master my voice you know what i'm saying like i'm doing my own graphics uh every shooting my own videos i'm doing my own photo shoots i'm setting up my own rollouts i'm creative director for my own everything so it's like what am i what am i paying y'all to do yeah i'm paying y'all for exposure and distribution i need y'all to just make sure that this gets to everybody That's so what, I mean. what is important to you is it the the when we talking business, we're talking money, right? Mm -hmm. So is it the business or is it getting the art to the people? I know, I know, That's it's the both. Business. That's the business. Yeah, it's the business. That that no, I'm saying that is the business. Okay. Getting the art to the people is the business. If I wanted to sit in my living room and make music for myself all day, I would just do that. Like, why am I? Why would I post it on Instagram? You wouldn't know I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, you yeah. wouldn't know I made music. Period. So it's like, if I wanted to do that, I could have been did that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's not what I want to do. I want to be, this is what I want for my life. And to live, you need finances. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be self-preservation. I mean, self-preservation is the first rule of society, period. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, to be able to live, I need money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a capitalist like, society. You can't drink water without paying for it. Yeah. And you need water to survive. You need water to survive. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's the business. Like, I needed to get to as many people as you as I can. I also want to get to as many people as I can because it's niggas that go through shit that I go through. Have you, you know I mean? have you had opportunities to sign? Yeah, I've been offered a bunch of deals before. Okay, but if but like four, four, four chances, but for some, but for whatever reason you didn't sign. So mm -hmm. there was something or someone that told you this ain't right. So. Somewhere between young gen and current gen, you realize this ain't right. Yeah. Correct? So yeah. what 
about the situations in your view was not right for you not to sign the dotted lines? I mean, like they are different, different. But I can't say that word. Like they are, it's different reasons for all of them. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's like some of them might be like. It's just, I ain't, ain't trying to out nobody. You know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's like, but it was all different reasons. And my big brother is like, like a business. He's been like a business guy my whole career. Like he's been focused on business because he did this music shit before me. So it's like, he always seen how his money was like, he'll put his money in places and he'll fuck up. Like he'll be gone. It was a waste. So he started reading and trying to figure out how to do this shit correctly. You know what I'm saying? And like, and now you got like kind of a. Yeah. Um, last time we spoke, you told mm-hmm. me <laughs> you told me a really interesting story about your mother. Mm-hmm. Um, you told me that your mother and your grandfather were major inspirations in mm-hmm. you starting to write. Right? Could you please tell my, that story? Uh, okay, my grandpa died when I was I want to say I was thirteen. I was thirteen, something like that, maybe twelve. And um, yeah, like uh, I just didn't. I didn't know how to express myself like vocally and the reason why I didn't know how to express myself vocally was because all my life uh, my mom was like um, she worked like three jobs two or three jobs at a time and she would just be like too tired to like actually deal with us you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so she would like come home we will get in trouble she'll just like whoop us and then go in the room <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, she, <laughs> she didn't really have time to like this is what you did wrong. It was just like, nigga, I got to pay bills, so I'm about to come in here and whoop your ass, but I'm trying to give me some sleep, so, you know what I'm saying? She ended up telling us one day, with like, um, if you think that you're getting a whooping for something, you're getting disciplined for something wrong, then, like, write it down on a piece of paper, fold it up, slide it underneath my door, I'll read it, and then I'll come back and, um, I'll come back and talk to you about it. If you was, if you was right, then... I apologize with my mama never apologized for nothing. So like nigga, even getting an apology was fire. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't think your mom, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, so she was um so that that ended up being the first thing, the first way of expression that I knew, which was kinda of fucked up because like in relationships, uh, like my whole life I had to deal with like people saying I was a bad communicator because like I didn't know how to say things like I don't know how to tell you anything I don't know how to tell you I love you I don't know how to tell you when you, this is bothering me or this it, it's funny you say that because you just said I love you so how so when I don't so you don't know how to tell someone that you love I love you I didn't know how to tell in relationships I didn't know how to say or express that you know what I'm saying like I just kind of I had to learn it because like I said, like I was, I couldn't express things. I had to write everything down and just slide it underneath the door. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then my uncles was so like, you were, my uncles was like, like real, like toughen up, punch you in the chest, stop crying. So I really could never say like I feel bad about this. Oh, okay. so like I couldn't, I couldn't say I feel bad about that. I didn't know how to cry. Like I didn't know how to like. I just didn't know how to express. I just didn't know how to make them out. And that's when I made Dice for Love. That was a big deal for me because it was just like, that was for the first time. It was like unfiltered exactly how I felt about every situation. Like, even when I was like, um, uh, knowing that I was wrong, like dealing with my vices and I was hurting. So I was making, I was doing shit to make other people hurt because I was hurting or doing things not caring about the way somebody else felt. Because I was hurting, Same. you know what I'm saying. So it was just like <laughs> it, was just, it was just like all of that was just like you know what I'm saying. Like that was like the big, biggest release for me. Like and that's the reason why I love that project so much because it was just like the first time that I was able to just like here it is, like this how it is without somebody saying or uh, somebody me thinking about how they was how they would say feel about this or how you would um, how she would react to this or. I they would say, it. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I completely understand you. Um, look, last but not least, man. Look, we got to talk about it. Okay, it's all over. It's everywhere. You know, we got to talk about this Takashi situation <laughs> real quick. Okay, I just need to hear your honest opinion about how do you feel about? Ain't none what? of my business. <laughs> ain't none of my business. Hey, ain't none of my business. I've been waiting to say that shit for so long. Shout out, Mister Hotspot. That nigga cool as fuck for that shit. 
Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Well, all right. Ain't none of my business. <laughs> Ain't none of my business. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Did I, leave, right. did I leave anything out? You think I could have said something else? You think I could have? Hey, so th uh, this is a random question, bro, but just what are three things in this world you would say that you cannot live without? Um, my music. Mm, my music. <laughs> uh, I can't probably look. All right, damn. This is that's good. That's good. That's good. Mm, my music. My son ain't here yet, so I see you doing the baby thing. But my son ain't here yet. I done lived without him before. <laughs> uh, I can't live without my mama. Okay. Okay. Not right now. Y'all even right now? Nah, no, I said I can't live without her right now. Oh, okay, I thought you said. I can't live without my music, and I can't live without money because you need everything. Fucking live. That's just so. Do y'all know how whack that shit is? That you need money for everything in the world? I know, bro. Like, that's whack, bro. Like, that shit is trash, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, niggas charge you for water. For water, bro. Whoever came up with the, the, whoever was like the first nigga to be like, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the to the aquifer. We're going to hit that wheel real quick. We're going to bottle this shit. And we're going to bottle this shit. And we're going to sell this no, to everybody, bro. No, no, we're I'm, selling this shit real talk. <laughs> we're selling this shit, nigga. Niggas need this shit. Like, whoever was the first nigga to do that shit, you're, you're not, he's a hoe. You're not, he's you're, a hoe. No, what, what it is, a, you're not buying the water. You're paying for the convenience of having it in a bottle and the access of... No, it's is not this, true. Is this the way that's not true. It, you know? But that's not true. It's because perspective. If you, you know? turn on your faucet at the house... You got to pay a water bill. You got to pay a water bill. If you... The only way you're not going to be able to... Nope, that's wrong, too. Because if you go get to the lake, get some water... Take it to the house it's to clean illegal. it. No, to clean it, you got to put it on the stove. I mean, you got to pay an electricity bill or a gas bill. So you got to pay for water, bro. That's but no, bad, bro. that's that's not that's not fair. electricity comes from the air. But if you get natural water and you have to do something to like make it clean, like yeah, it's not natural. You know what I mean? So like when you say you're paying for water, a yeah. water bill, like you're not just paying for the you're paying for the water to flow to your house. And then they're refining it and they filtering it and then all that. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're paying it's for. It's water. <laughs> <laughs> it's water, bro. It's I'm water, bro. I'm just saying, I'm African. Motherfuckers really have to walk to the well, to the village, okay? <laughs> and carry the water bro, back on their head. Burn the firewood, okay? Put the, put, put put the, the, water. Put the water in the pots. And, okay. And then, <laughs> yeah, bro. Right. So, <laughs> and that's free, right? Oh yeah, I mean, but at the same time, time is money, so you gotta take the time. The, 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 but I'm just saying, I'm a capitalist. Time not even real. It's not. It's not. But at the same time, it's the only thing that is real. Time is forever. Time is gonna continuously. Time is no. Time is time is not. Don't exist. That's why. It's, that's why it's the, the measurement it's of time is man made. But time has been. You, time, we we no. know this has been a a thousand years ago. No, no, it no we don't know it's been a thousand years. Who made years? That's what I'm saying. The measurement. But I'm saying. But I'm telling you. But you saying you, we know it's been a thousand years. No, it wasn't. You know. You know. Be fucking me up. Let me tell you. We fucking. I want to hear it, bro. Nigga, the people who wrote the Bible <laughs> say God made the earth in seven days. Seven. Right. But God how, said. How God said. Know? But God said before time it was me. So how the hell you gonna tell God how long he made the earth then, bro? bro? That, that, that's a whole other hour. I'm, my bad. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 like, no, no, but back to no, water, bro. That shit whack, bro. Yeah, like, water. You got to really pay for everything, bro. That shit crazy. <laughs> like, you really got to pay for everything, bro. Nah, I'm it's not a, Listen, bro. It is. You get a ticket for being naked in public, but have to pay for clothes. <laughs> He's blunt, man. <laughs> but you gotta pay for clothes. Why am I? What the fuck? Oh, so either way it go, I gotta spend money. Is what you you're gotta saying. spend money. That's what. Right. Right. Uh -huh. That's what. Right. Or spend time. Time in jail. Cause time is money. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, bro, it's the world. You stress his ass out now. Time and money, bro. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy. Well, damn, I wasn't right. expecting to go there. My bad. I was asking for the three things you can't live without. Yeah, money. So money, 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 music, and my mama, and some more money. The three M's. <laughs> <laughs> money, music, and my mama. 